you were very influential in the H3000 uh, in a lot of ways. Like you really uh, worked with them on different effects and stuff. Well, that was interesting. First, I was a fan of Eventide as you know, long as I can remember. And uh, Eventide, it was Gil Griffith was working yeah. for them at the time. Yeah, I remember Gil. And he wrote to me and he said, we're working on a new harmonizer. Do you have any ideas? And I did. You know, so I, I wrote a, re, a basic, a whole bunch of ideas. And and like, for instance, I said to him, your new harmonizer should be diatonic. It should have diet. That's nobody true, has, right. nobody right. has made, and they they didn't even know what it was. Ooh, and I explained, right. well, why, well, why, you know, parallel harmony goes like this, but it's useless if you're in a key, you should be able to have the harmonized note follow a particular key. And why only two notes? Why not seven? Mm. You know, and right. then why not be able to affect each note differently? Mm. And then right. why not be able to type in your own scale mm. so you can That's create, amazing. you know, synthetic scale that plays harmony? N nothing like that existed. And a whole bunch of other things that I was just thinking, what what could, you know, what? And um, the H3000 was the what first, yeah. I think they call it smart pitch. But that's right. what it is. And, the, and it was great. It was, you know, a co-creative effort. Yeah, right no, it's fantastic. And he, I got a whole free unit for it. 